Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it's a big celebration in my family this week, so I've decorated in accordance. So if you want to hear about that and see how this one all came together, then just keep watching. All right, so this week is my mum's birthday. It's also a week, not quite a whole week of annual leave, but a week of leave. Um, but for my mum's birthday, she, it's her 60th. Sorry, Mum, if I if you didn't want me to tell everybody in the world how old you are, but you know they know now. Um, it is her 60th, and because her name is Annie, she's having a flanny party. So we all have to go wearing flannelette shirts. So I wanted to celebrate that a little bit. So I'm going to use this piece of paper. Where did you go? I know you were in here. There it is. Uh, this is from the Kaisercraft Mountain Air Collection. Um, I thought I had two pieces of this paper, but apparently I only have one. So because I only have one, I need to be careful and make sure I don't ruin this. So I think what I'll do is put the flannel on the top of both sides and then and the bottom of both sides. And then run this cool sort of um, craft paper washi tape that's got some spots on it. Run that down the middle. I know it's been a while since I've done a middle one. So I really want to use that. And I love, I love the texture of this tape. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I really do. I also think... Just as I'm talking to you, I've just had an idea. So what I'm going to do instead, I am going to I'm going to put the the paper along the top still, but rather than using this down the side, I'm actually going to use this to cover up the days. So I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to tear it a lot, which is going to give this really cool little finish to it. And then I can stick my days of the week stickers on top of that. So I'm going to grab my trimmer. This is the new Kaiser Craft one that I am trying out. I will do a review for you guys. Uh, sort of once I'm comfortable with it Comfortable with it and feel like I can actually um, Review it fairly. It is working really well at the moment. So I'll, I'll say that I am enjoying it so I think if I cut these in like Two and a half centimeter strips and then I'll just cut off the excess. I'm gonna waste a little bit that way But I'd rather do oh, maybe two Two will fit comfortably. So I'll do it in strips stick them down and then cut off the excess so I'm just going to cut them in strips using the measurements on the on the trimmer I love when you've got anything that's got lines on it because you can always tell if your line's straight or not and these ones actually don't look too bad so we should be okay here so there's my four strips so I'm going to go ahead and stick these down and then just cut off all of the excess looks cooler than I thought it was would I really thought it was going to end up looking a bit ugh, I don't know why uh, so then what I'm going to do is grab this washi so this is way too wide so I'm gonna sort of tear it into strips I'm going to tear that a little bit differently tear it into strips Where'd my little ball? there it is so I really want this to be torn so I'm gonna try tear this in half so I've just got that got my ruler in a spot so that it can it can tear I hope okay. so it is gonna have a straight edge but the other edge has got a torn and because I went up against a ruler anyway it, it, it's fine so I'm gonna place those down it's times like this you're always glad you've got tweezers 
And if I use the straight edge always on the top, it doesn't look quite as weird. But because they're all different shapes and stuff, it actually looks kind of cool. And it doesn't matter that it kind of sits up a little bit because that adds to it. So again, we'll just cut that, or well, not cut it, but trim it there. And it doesn't matter if this is not perfectly sort of one centimetre. Although that said, that looks horrible, so let's not use that one. That one was just a bit diagonal. I don't mind if it's not quite, as long as it's even, I think it's okay. But yeah, diagonal didn't look good. So let's try that again. Let's just move that note off for a sec. And these ones are a bit too long, so I'm gonna cut, not cut, tear them a bit to make it smaller. And I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna cover it up, but I'm gonna keep the washi on here as well because then I can put like a to-do list or a packing list because I'm going to have to pack this week. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other side and I'll be right back. these clear ones out these are actually a lot bigger but I think I'm gonna try so these are from honeysuckle these are clear stickers I'm just thinking I've been watching a lot of plan a week or a lot of decorations where the the stickers are kind of just off the washi and I, I really like the I don't know how, what you call it it's not it's just a slightly less structured I guess look and I kind of really have been enjoying it so I wanted to give it a bit of a try and this sort of seems like the best possible one to do it in because we're already going kind of rustic and everything with the flannelette anyway so we'll just see how this goes and if it looks horrible well you know what it looks horrible who cares I'll live I've got marks on the on this page which are kind of driving me a bit bonkers, but that's all right. I do try and keep my planner pages as clean as I possibly can for as long as I possibly can, but eventually they do kind of end up getting messy. I actually kind of like the way that sits just off. And then I have the matching, oh, I thought I had the matching, there it is, um, the matching numbers to go with them. So I'm just gonna stick them out on their own. So I'm just trying to remember what the what the date was. Thursday's the 1st, 31st, 30th, 29th. So I'm just gonna see what these look like first. Just sort of sitting out there on their own. Yeah, that looks all right. Otherwise I was gonna get like another bit of, of the tape, but I think that looks all right out there by itself. I've been sitting on this kind of card for a while and it doesn't it does sort of fit but it also doesn't it's it's definitely not the it's not the same collection it's a different collection this is the uh, hide-and-seek collection but it kind of still fits so I'm gonna give it a try and see if once it's all down if it all sort of matches in together so I'm grabbing this one here that just says young wild and free <sighs> there we go because my mum might not be a young person, but she is at heart, so we're gonna do this this way. So I'm just gonna cut off the the icky perforated bits, because I don't like them. And I'm just gonna cut really, really close, just to get rid of them. But I don't wanna mess up the, I definitely don't wanna get any of the gold. Trying to find the straight edge and I was having trouble. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it sit. I'm gonna have it 
Let's sit that way. I might have it at the top. And then I'm going to round the corners off and tab this. But I'm going to stick something on the back first so that the colours are taken up. Now that's just not quite square anymore. It's a little bit off to one side. So I'm just going to straighten that up. That's better. So then on the back... So this is the uh, hide and seek paper pad now. And I want it to be something that I can write on on the back so it can't be too, too over the top. So for that reason I think I'll use this one. So I'll stick it like that and then I might put the bear, I might find a way to put the bear back in afterwards. So I'm just going to stick this down. using plain old glue tape for this bit. And just making sure again that I'm in the right spot. And if I butt this up against the edge, it means I only have to cut two edges, not one. Not four. One. It's also going to point out very quickly if I am square or not, and I don't think I am, so this will sort that out as well. I'm going to go ahead and trim that and I'm not like I'm fine to go over the edges a little bit so that I try and square this up just a little it's one thing I do and don't like about this trimmer there's a bit of a magnetic kind of thing to it which holds the trimmer in place like the this cutting bit in place which is good because it kind of helps you stay solid and in one place and everything but at the same time it kind of sometimes confuses you and you don't know if you're actually that's really bad uh, you don't know if you're actually straight which is kind of annoying and in this case I'm really not straight and it's really bugging me so I'm going to use the lines as opposed to using the using the solid bit there because yeah that's not straight I think I'm kind of making it worse just to try and try and sort this out sometimes you need to get a knife out and actually cut things I don't know why it works but it does So I've just grabbed my tab punch board. So because I want it to sit that way, I'm going to punch tabs this way. And I'm also just going to round the corners off. There we go. And then we'll be able to punch the holes in. I'm going to steal this little bear. I'm just going to fussy cut him out. Where did my scissors go? So I'm just going to do that really quickly and that way I can put my writing on here at the same time.
gonna sit up there. Right, now we need to put in our normal kind of bits and pieces. I'm gonna grab this to do. So this one's from Barney and Moon, and I'm just gonna put that. Um, I think I do have a clear one of that. This is where you get your stash out and see what else you've got. I thought I got everything out that I needed, but nope. I thought I had a clear one. I don't, so because I don't, I'm just gonna use just this normal one. So we'll put that there. That's also going to be a two pack and to do about eight other things. Uh, so I'm going to put my gym sticker on Monday because we are still going to the gym before we go, I think. And then I'm actually going to grab out my getaway kit from Planners Anonymous and I'm going to use the little plane again and a couple other little bits. So I'm just going to grab my um, stamp block and some ink. So I'm going to grab the little plane first. There you go. There it is. So I need to put two different lots of flight details in here, but only going one way. So that'll make sense in a sec. So on Wednesday, I'm flying to the Gold Coast. So I'm going to put the little stamp here for the going out. That's a horrible impression, but that was my fault, so it's okay. And then on Saturday, Ryan's flying into the Gold Coast. So I'm going to put a stamp on there for him. That's better. Uh, so they're the two impressions for the in. I'm not going to put any outs because at the moment I don't need to. Because we're not going. We're not leaving. We're leaving next week. So I am going away, but I am going to have pre-filmed everything for you guys. So you guys aren't going to miss anything. Woo! It's gonna be so exciting. And then I'm also just putting in a little um, like location thing. I'm just trying to work out where I'm gonna put it. Because I have a very important lunch date on Friday. And then while I'm here and using these gorgeous stamps, I'm actually gonna grab this little checkbox kind of one. I'm just gonna stamp out some of these for my little to-do list and that way it all kind of ties itself together I'm gonna do two rows because I'm gonna have a lot going on me thinks and I'm also going to grab another bit of this tape I'm actually going to see if I can reuse this bit no I can't that was the bit that tore not straight so I kind of thought I could maybe use it again so I'm going to grab another bit just tear it in half leave a little bit of a gap because obviously you need a little bit of room to write the rest of that to-do list and this is going to be my little happy mail list actually I'm going to move that sort of in here there we go I think I have a happy mail sticker somewhere I'm going to grab these little icons from Lily and Lime. They're one of my favourites. And I'm going to grab this little cashola one. I'm just going to have it there and I'm not going to put Happy Mail on it or anything. I'm just going to leave it as this little, little spending one because I know what it means. <laughs> it means, oops, Ashley's been spending money again. And I'm just going to put the four down the side, kind of hoping that by the time I actually get to this week that I don't have any mail or don't have any mail coming. 
And the only other thing I'm going to do is grab this little cute one here with the little clinkies. I'm going to put that on this side because Ryan and I are actually having a couple of days um, to ourselves while we're up on the Gold Coast, which I'm really excited about. So we get to just have a few days that doesn't include everybody else in the world. So I'm going to go ahead really quick and write in our flight details and I'll be right back. Before I put those little things away, I need a birthday kinda, kinda one. I'm gonna use this little flower. I know it's not birthday, but. So I'm gonna have one there. So there's gonna be two. So there's gonna be the one for mum's party, and then the one for mum's actual birthday. I'm looking at it going, I've done a lot of not a lot so I need something something I don't think there's anything in the mountain air kind of one that suits this so I might get some cuties out of the hide-and-seek because there are some cuties in here I need something because it's just it's too boring so I'm gonna just very quickly cut out a couple of these little kind of woodland creatures. I know I've done woodland a lot. But they're just so damn cute. So I'm going to get the little echidna, or not echidna, hedgehog. The little fox. I'm just avoiding hitting any of the others while I'm fussy cutting these. Um, I'm going to grab this little bird. There's also a couple of little like little bits on here so there's some flowers and an acorn and stuff so I'm gonna try and put them on there as well so I'm just gonna fussy cut these out through my Xyron sticker maker only because that way I don't have to put glue on the back of the mold. Although this one doesn't like me very much and doesn't want to go in the hole. There we go. Plus because they're so little sometimes it's just easier to throw them through here. <music> I'm going to put, I'm going to try, I, don't, I want to put something in that top corner, but a little bird down this side. I was avoiding putting the fox up there, but he's too cute, so I'm going to. And then we'll put the little kind of echidna thing there. That's better. You never need a lot to finish these off, but sometimes just need a tinsy, tinsy little bit. Sorry, Jed, make noise. See if I can. I'm going to use those flowers to cover up that little ink mess I made. So I'm going to leave it like that. I know it's a little bit more plain than some of my other ones, but I really think the, um, the flannel and the, the paper kind of speak for themselves. They kind of make it look more fancy than it actually is. And I really do adore using these little icons. They're so, so cute. So please give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to be subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything future here on my channel. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like these kind of more minimalist decorations. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome week. Like I said, I am not around. Around? I am, but I'm not. Uh, I've pre-filmed all my videos, so you guys are going to still get everything you normally would. I'm just not filming them this week. So I hope you guys have a great, great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye!